Comprehensive Ecological Architecture, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 173. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 173, July 17th, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we'll add you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the final 25% of the written content for the information lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purpose to teach all subjects, to all learning levels, in any learning environment, using the central theme of information, is now 100% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the second 25% of the written part of the honesty and integrity lesson plan. We also completed the final 25% of the mind map for the Humility Lesson Plan, bringing it to 100% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. As part of the development of our Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan, The core team added additional details for the recommended quantities of daily vegetables to our website, as suggested by naturopathic Dr. Matt Martirano, creator of the Coherent Model for Comprehensive Digestive Health. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team put another 10 hours into the the behind-the-scenes revision for the Footers Foundations and Flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's focus was on completing edits and adding further information in Section 12, Dome Exterior Finish, Section 14, French Drain Gutter Construction, and Section 16, Resources. One example of the work this week would be an explanation of 2% lateral and downward sloping of French Drain Gutter and how that affects Section 15, final backfill and size changes in polyethylene, addressing a paver edging barrier with attached flashing at the base of the stucco to prevent water damage to lower stucco, and eliminating outdated resources. We'd say we are now 90% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. Sal Rubio, industrial designer, also continued working on creating professional, do-it-yourself, Earth Bay Village Murphy Bed Furniture Assembly instructions. What you see here is week eight of this process and Sal's fourth version of exploring instructions for cutting the proper pieces. In addition to this, Ray Tribule, web developer and active duty U.S. sailor, continued with week four of developing the communal vermiculture eco-toilet designs that are part of the Earth Bay Village, Pod 1. This week's focus was on streamlining the focus of the page and adding in small placeholder images so the core team knows what images to create and clean up for the final version. Brianna Johnson, interior designer, also continued evolving the renders for the Straw Bale Village, Pod 2. What you see here is the view inside one of the living spaces looking up toward the loft sleeping area, a view from the top of the stairs looking at the loft sleeping area, 
and a view from the sleeping area under the loft looking outward onto the living room. And Dean Scholes, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Com Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 27 of his work that focused on test rendering the newly designed roof space and building additional 3D furniture to add there. Jaspreet Sand, graphic designer and computer engineer, also created this complete layout for the woodworking makerspace for the northwest wing of the Cobb Village Pod 3. What you see here is week two of this work, converting hand drawings into an illustrator file before starting to build all this in 3D. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also continued with his fifth week of Photoshop work on the renders for the Shipping Container Village Pod 5. Here you see the initial versions of the library, game room, and outdoor meeting space. In addition to this, Upesh Sithala, interior designer, created the first version of multiple renders for the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6, including the art room, dance room, these two perspectives on the game room, the gym, two perspectives on the library and computer room, two perspectives on the music room, this render of a social space, an outdoor perspective on the yoga room, and an indoor perspective on the same room. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued developing the Duplical City Center in 3D as a precursor to updating the CAD drawing. What you see here is the staircase to the basement cellar redesigned to accommodate the curvature of the wall and to have the appropriate headroom to enter the root cellar below the dry storage. Here you see the kitchen elevator moved into the washing area. We also worked on the natural pool and spa area where we added a trellis and vines to the rinsing station screen. In addition to this, we updated all the icons for the Duplical City Center again, creating better color consistency and adding a few new ones. Last but not least, Neha Verma, Construction Project Manager and Bachelors of Architecture, also updated the AutoCAD to reflect the spa mechanical room in shower location and the kitchen dry storage changes from last week's 3D design updates. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team updated all the icons and formatting for our purpose, mission, and vision page. We also created the six new icons seen here and further revised the template we're developing for color coordination of the website, village interior and exterior colors, and all of the graphic design work for each of the seven villages. Jennifer Zhao, web designer, also continued her work developing the new website structure we desire for easier and more graphic access to all the One Community open source content. What you see here is week two of her work focusing on the general structure and functionality of the home page and a few of the breakout pages. One Community is creating comprehensive ecological architecture that is open source and do-it-yourself replicable. Our idea is if we can make sustainability easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. And so we are putting together all of the components of sustainability to create self-sufficient and self-replicating teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs to be built around the world. The foundations of our comprehensive ecological architecture are an evolution of sustainability that combines physical sustainability with emotional sustainability to create a way of living that we think most people will consider to be better than the way that they are living right now. Physical components of sustainability that we've identified as essential are food, energy, and housing. And the emotional components of sustainability that we've identified as essential are high school education, high school economics, fulfilled living practices, and truer stewardship. Putting these together is an evolution of sustainability that combines that emotional component with the physical component in a way that will provide a lifestyle that gives people more of the time and the resources and brings people together with common ideas, common values, in a way that we feel is currently missing in society. Providing a lifestyle that most people will think is better than the way they're living before. And if we succeed in that, the open source aspect of everything that we're doing 
is the affordable and easy enough component and the fulfilled living practices, the educational aspects, the true earth stewardship, highest good economics, those components are the elements that will make it more enjoyable than the way that people are living right now. And so if people feel that this way of living is better than the way they're living right now, and it is truly easy enough and affordable enough, then that attractiveness component will drive replication of these teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs, and spreading of comprehensive ecological architecture around the world. Letting human ingenuity do the rest. So our do-it-yourself blueprints, tools, tutorials, and resources that are being open sourced are all about creating that. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting, if it sounds interesting to you and you'd like to get involved, we've got lots of different ways to do that, ranging from the Pioneer team to just sharing our information on social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible to do that. We are on Facebook. We are on Twitter. We are on Tumblr. We are on Reddit. We are on Pinterest. We are on Sue. We are on all the different social media networks, probably another 10 or 15 in addition to that to make it as easy, easy as possible. Of course, we're also seeking large-scale funding. So if you or somebody you know has access to funding though, uh, that would be interested in either donating to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or investing in one community. All of our team are nonprofit unpaid volunteers, including myself. So every dollar that we get, every $5 donation, every $10 donation, $15, $20 and more, all of that goes to forwarding our open source goals and mission. None of it goes to paying wages or salaries. Everybody that's doing this is volunteering because we see this as a possibility. We believe in this future and we carry the consciousness for the highest good of all to create it. And we're not waiting for somebody else to do it. We're doing it right now. So this five-year process it has continued to move forward. And if we were to get the large-scale funding that we are seeking, we would be able to get the property that we have been working around for the last five years, put that under ownership of, the five, of our 501c3 nonprofit organization, and take our whole open source creative process to the next level, which would forward the whole comprehensive ecological architecture, design process, development process, and open sourcing process. We're not waiting for somebody else to create the future that we know is possible. We're doing it, and we're doing it right now and we're inviting you to participate. We are being the change that we wanna see in the world and anybody can join us in what it is that we're doing because we're creating the future right now. Whether we're doing it passively or actively, we're still creating it. And we see the idea of a self-replicating model that simultaneously addresses all the challenges of our generation, the foreseeable future generations, as really the only true solution to the challenges that we're facing right now. Because we see them as not only interrelated, but is interdependent. And so we're designing these teacher demonstration hubs, these solution models, purpose to create additional solution creating models as a solution to all of these challenges that's capable of evolving as the challenges evolve. Bringing people together with common vision, common values, not a value set that we are defining, but any groups of people with common vision and common values and providing the blueprints and the foundation, the open source project launch blueprinting foundation necessary to be able to launch replicable product projects that would then launch additional replicable projects and everything we're doing can be replicated as either individual components or as a complete teacher demonstration hub. This is our idea of comprehensive ecological architecture. This is what we're doing. This is how we're creating global change right now and anybody can get involved. So as always, I'd like to say thanks for following our progress. Thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all of our open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following.